Okay, so I'm doing this quick video to show you how I keep track of what my staff is doing in the agency and, um, and what that looks like with agency Zoom. So here I am in the lead page. I am um, looking at different pipelines and right here we can see that we're purchasing leads through Quote Wizard and then we have all of these different tags on things as well. Um, indicating different steps have been completed. So for example, this one here says cross sell on it. And that means that this is a cross sell lead and we need to call them um, ASAP. They also requested this quote. So it allows my producers to prioritize. So um, here, when I click on these requested quote tags, if I click on that, it's actually gonna show me just the people who've requested quotes. So a very easy way to um, filter and organize your sales pipeline. There's also, uh, we use one that's called call ASAP. So to indicate there's urgency, if I click on that tag, it's gonna show us the urgent ones that my staff should be working first. Now from there, I can refresh my browser and I can see the pipeline again. Now as the agency owner, I see the pipeline for all producers and then um, staff members see just their individual lead pipeline. They can navigate to see other people's leads in the agency, but the default is just their own. So if I clicked on this tag, I would see all of our quote wizard home leads. And if I clicked on this other tag, um, RA done is stands for risk advisor and risk advisor is an internal quote platform that we use to collect information. We have a marketer who makes these phone calls. And then my producer is simply able to grab completed quote forms and move them through the sales process. So for example, if I open this one up, you'll see that there's a file attachment. There's actually two. So here's the profile notes, and then here's the home insurance policy profile notes. So when we complete the internal quote form, it automatically sends this here. This is really helpful because if we end up quoting, um, you know, farmers or foremost or something in Craft Lake, all of the risk details are in one place and we're not having to go like look in other systems to grab the information. So it's really handy. I can open up this risk profile right here and open it. It just downloads it to my computer and then I can see what's in here. So this is just their contact information. And then the other one is going to be the home profile. So I can open that. And here's all the information we collected on the house and any other information that was grabbed during the discovery call um, to get that. So this is part of their permanent file. I've also seen agents use this for renewals. So they go back and review this information for a household um, when going through the renewal process, especially if you have a cancellation um, due to non-renewal, something like that, then you can grab that information without having to you know, go into the other carrier system. So really handy. There's a lot of other things that Agency Zoom does, including automation via text and email. We have these awesome campaigns built out. We can also document what they currently have under the opportunities. So I think this guy had Geico. We would document Geico there, and then we can document the quote, what we actually recommended to them. So if I go into a quoted lead here, you'll see under the quote tab, we've documented the auto insurance quote and the home quote, and we have that PDF right here. So I can actually view it. So we can see that entire quote document and all the information that was provided. So, you know, think about the people that you don't close. When we go to recycle this lead and we're gonna go call Michael, you know, next year, if we don't sell him this year, I can just simply view this quote. I can see, um, let's see, did we document? We haven't documented what he has in this one. We might not have confirmed it yet. Looks like he has all state as the carrier, but we might not have received the premium um, at this point. So it's not in here, but we would document all state as the opportunity. And then we have the entire quote and we can easily grab it. So we don't have to worry about like our internal systems with the quotes, you know, um, expiring or getting archived and not being able to find the information. We can just call this person and verify and requote. So it's very simple makes for a nice warm call as well. We do all of our texting and calling and emailing through agency Zoom as well, which really allows us to document all of our staff's activities to see how often they're working these leads. One of the things I see a lot is agents buy way too many leads and then they are not actually utilizing them. So by utilizing them, I mean, you're not calling them, you know, two, three, four, five, six times. 
because you don't have the ability or just there's so many leads coming in and you don't have the ability to grab all the opportunities. That's why we brought in a marketer as we look for more producers. Here's an example of a video quote. So this is also built into agency Zoom so we can actually do a video quote. So when we can't close them on the phone, we'll take a few minutes and record this video quote. We have a template pre-templated here and we just pop this video in and then we can explain to the customer the differences between our, our proposal and what they have now and the benefits of making that change. This is really great for one-legged appointments where you have the objection is that they need to check with their spouse because their spouse can view this video and hear it from us. Obviously they don't always hear it um, the same from their spouse after speaking with us. It's a lot to remember. So you can see here, I can see my producer's outbound calls. I can see the text messages. Um, we have a zap. So when our calls are recorded from Ring Central, we automatically download those to a file, but we also have it make a note that there was a call recording. This is important because if I have to go back and try to find this recording, in this client's profile, sometimes customers change their phone numbers, right? Or they were calling from a different number. I want to know that I'm going into Krista's, um, Krista make the call. So I'm going into her folder and then I'm looking for a call from this number at this time. So um, my zaps are instant so you might have anywhere from a five to 15 minute delay if you're using Zapier, depending on the account level that you have, but mine are instant. So I can, um, I know it's within a minute or two of this um, timestamp. So you can see just very easy to see the actual journey that my prospects are taking with my producers to be able to coach and hold them accountable to that. The other really cool thing about the agency Zoom pipeline is I can filter for automation. So one of the setting options is to be able to turn off automation when a prospect responds. So if I, as an agency owner, wanna see, hey, is my team being really responsive to the automation? I can click this filter button and then under automation enrollment, I can click not enrolled. So I can actually see who has been unenrolled. So for example, Carl is a new lead, but he has responded in some way, shape or form. Let's go look. So it looks like in this case, he responded no thanks, which is fine. Um, is there a good time for us to chat? He said no thanks. So what we're gonna do with Carl is we're gonna go ahead and move him to contacted because he did respond. The, the information was accurate from Quote Wizard. So we move him to contacted. We're not going to turn on our automation. And then we're just going to recycle him. So he wasn't interested at this time. Uh, we want to spend our time with people who are interested. We're going to put him out a couple months and we're going to put him under our leads not quoted and we're going to close tasks. And we're just going to say wasn't interested um, first time. Okay, and then this is gonna then pop him back out in our pipeline in a couple months so that we can try again. And you can see here, I even have some automation letting him know, you know, hey, thanks for the opportunity. We'll reach back out down the road and see if it's a better fit, um, if there's a better time. So this is how I spot check my agency to see like what's going on, um, to see what's going on with the workflows. And if we're actually keeping up with our pipelines and utilizing our leads well. Uh, we also have pipelines for quotes not closed. These are people that we're recycling. This represents year three. And right now we're closing six and a half percent of the people out of the year three pipeline, which is pretty awesome. We have leads not quoted. And also on year three, we just are now hitting this. We're closing four and a half percent of the people that we tried to sell to three years ago who we couldn't even quote. So if you are not recycling your leads, you're working a heck of a lot harder than you need to, and you're spending a lot more money on marketing than you need to as well. There is so much um, opportunity within our books and within our um, existing leads that most agents do not capture. A system like Agency Zoom makes it extremely easy and make sure that you're maximizing it and not only maximizing it, but as an agency owner, you can check in really simple and see what's going on. Like we have five people in here you know, who have responded to our automation and we haven't gotten, we haven't moved them, right? So <laughs> looks like there was a response back on March 8th. So this is where I'm gonna have a conversation with my producer and make sure that she's able to keep up with her lead volume. These are really good indicators. If you see a lot of this and your staff is really working hard and you can you know, track their call volumes and their talk time and they're, you know, working their tails off, but you see responses that go um, unreplied to, Right, this one says, 
get back to me towards the end of April, please. Like, well, we'll gladly do that for Kathy. We'll gladly reach out at the end of April, but we need to like let her know and then recycle her. So um, this is this tells me that maybe my staff is they aren't able to get back to people fast enough and I probably need to hire, which I'm doing right now anyways, if we're inter actively interviewing and hiring um, more support. But this is something that you will see happen when you start recycling and you continue to market, you will see the need for more people because you will have more opportunity. And what do we all want in our agencies? We all want growth. We want you know more staff to delegate out to so we can have more time to work on our business instead of working in our business. And we want them to have people who are interested in purchasing and are actively looking to talk to you. So we wanna be able to hit those individuals when they're not shopping with everybody else. And that's what recycling leads really does. So I hope you enjoyed this quick 10 minute video. This is just one benefit of agency zoom and a system like this in place in your agency, really just around pushing sales. There's so many other things around monitoring your customers, um, keeping track of service tickets, really having a pipeline just like this, but of service, like what is going on in your agency? Let me give you an example. I'm just going to pop over to ours. This is our renewal pipeline. So we're actively working our renewals and there's automation built in here to make sure we're staying in co contact with our customers. But let's like look at claims. So how many of you can easily open one system and see all the claims across your entire agency and where they are? Doesn't matter what carrier they're with um, and you're able to see you know, what's going on. So we have these people in the adjusting and repair stage. And then we have five claims that are going to be long claims or they need some help. This could be a property burnt down. There was major injuries in the accident. Um, there's some kind of dispute or mitigation happening or the adjuster and the client like aren't connecting well. And there is, you know, some issues there and we are stepping in to help in the get in between that and make sure the client has a really great experience. So this is just one example of a service center pipeline. Uh, we will have 10 in our agency when we finish all of them. We're about halfway through that right now. But the clarity and the ability for you to check in and know exactly what's going on here in your agency in one portal is absolutely amazing. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I work from home a lot and we are hiring producers nationwide. So we're hiring remote staff because we know we can handle them. And if you've seen any trends lately in employment, it is that people want to work remote. I put up remote positions for service and sales, and I have over 800 people who have applied. That is insane. And the job ad has only been up for a few days. So this is a this is a new trend. And there's no reason that people can't work from home, like in, in your agency, if that's something that you choose, but you do need to have a really good system to manage them. So not only is this really helping you maximize you know, um, your lead inventory, which is really our product inventory, right? Our leads are our inventory in our agencies. It's helping you manage and help your customers, but it's also allowing you to pivot very easily into the remote work environment. Um, if and when you need to do that because of potential staffing shortages in your area, because that is a growing trend. So we can really, you know, plug into top talent that wants remote work, um, with a system like this. It's so seamless for us to do. My producer works remote, my office manager works in the office, but I work from home most days, but I can still see everything that's going on. All right, thanks for hanging in with me on this quick you know, video about Agency Zoom. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can go to agencyzoomautomation.com. I am a consultant with Agency Zoom and I can help you build out your system. If you want to know more about how we can help you, you can schedule a call with Kinsey. She is on my team, chief marketing officer, and she can really answer your questions and see if our service is right for you. And if agency zoom is right for you as well, because you really, you know, having a CRM and a system is a big commitment and changing that system is also a very big commitment. So you really want to make sure it's the best fit for you. And, you know, at the end of the day, all of us work a little bit differently. So I'm not saying agency zoom is perfect for everybody, but I do believe that um, it is an amazing option for pretty much every kind of agency out there. I've helped agents that are opening their doors next month. They're brand new, no client base, all the way up to agents with six locations nationwide, anything from commercial to personal lines. And all of them have found immense value in using agency Zoom in their offices. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. And let me know if you have any questions.